Shivu, the basic reason for any heart ailment is the uncontrolled emotion or the imbalance in the emotion that causes heart ailments. This imbalance in the emotion can be something to do with your past. Maybe it happened in a childhood or the time you were growing into your teens or now. It, it is primarily because of the reason of the emotions which are there but remained unexpressed or something, a, a kind of a emotional distress is there. And this is the reason for this, this kind of a thing to build up is the disbalance between the Manipura Chakra, Root Chakra, the Karn Chakra and the Anahata Chakra. This balance is a sound which is produced within, which is in which in Sanskrit language is called as Nath. This Nath is responsible for the proper functioning of these four chakras because any of the chakra is not a standalone chakra it is in it is in a chain with the under other 114 chakras so when one chakra gets affected it is automatically that all the chakras the performance of all the chakras get affected that is the reason why one ailment leads to the other like if there is a like a thyroid problem, it may lead to diabetes. Or if there is a diabetes problem, it may lead to thyroid or the heart ailment. People suffering with heart ailments, high blood pressure, hypertension often lead to diabetes or their thyroid gets in a disbalance or there is a problem in the pancreas or the kidneys. That likewise, even in the way that it is mentioned, if one chakra is affected, it will affect all the uh, rest 107 chakras. There are 114 of them, and 108 are primarily responsible for the societal life, the life in the physical. Six are for the spiritual life. That is, these chakras come into relevance the time the person attains shunya, samadhi. It is not death, it is shunya. When the unconscious mind becomes the conscious and the conscious becomes unconscious, that is when you go beyond the senses. Anyhow, coming back to this healing, this healing can be done very easily, but it depends upon what is the severity of the ailment that the person is suffering with. So this is what is done in allopathy also, but in that the chemicals are ingested to suppress the emotion. But in the Vedic system, in this Nadiu, what is done is these emotions are settled. They are not suppressed. They are settled. They are answered. The question hovers only till the time there is no answer. When it is answered, it is settled. That's, this is what the, the, the innuendo, the ethos of Vedic healing, the Nadi Yoga is. Till the time we meet next time. Shivo.